In the summer of 1972, amidst the tensions of the Cold War, the world witnessed a historic clash that transcended geopolitics and captured the imaginations of millions. It was the battle for supremacy on the 64 squares, the World Chess Championship match between American prodigy Bobby Fischer and the reigning Soviet champion Boris Spassky. The stage was set in the picturesque city of Reykjavik, Iceland, a neutral ground for the ideological adversaries. But the road to this historic encounter was anything but smooth. Fischer's eccentric demands and concerns about cameras threatened to derail the match, creating suspense and uncertainty. In July 11, 1972, marked the beginning of a chess spectacle that would captivate the world. Fischer suffered an early setback, losing the first game to Spassky due to a series of strategic errors. The tension escalated as Fischer contemplated leaving the match. After intense negotiations and the intervention of officials, the match resumed. Fischer, with a newfound determination, made a stunning comeback, winning critical games by forfeit. The chessboard became a battlefield of wits, with Fischer's aggressive and innovative play leaving an indelible mark on the game. In the sixth game, Fischer's iconic move, on 21st move f4 as a response of d4 of Spassky, showcased his brilliance and strategic prowess. On September 1, 1972, Bobby Fischer secured victory, becoming the 11th world chess champion and the first American to claim the title. The match of the century had not only reshaped the landscape of chess, but had also become a symbol of triumph for the United States during a critical moment in history.